Today, cash is the only form of central bank money which is available to the public and it's still widely used, but it's decreasing in transactions as people are shifting to digital payments. In response, central banks are around the world are thinking about issuing their own currency, called central bank digital currency or CBDC for short, which is a digital complement to cash uh, in the retail payments market. In this context, our research focuses on a key question, which is, will there be sufficient interest for CBDC uh, in the retail payments market? And uh, we believe this fills an important gap because most of the research focuses on the opposite question, which is, will CBDC become too popular and potentially threatening the banking system? In our paper, we analyze consumer payment uh, be behavior and preferences uh, of roughly 40,000 respondents over multiple countries. Using this data set, we develop a model uh, to understand, to study how consumer payment behavior relates to certain attributes of means of payments. For example, ease of use, uh, usefulness for budgeting, and privacy protection. We use our model to then uh, uh, introduce and simulate a central bank digital currency as a as characterized by a combination of different attributes, possibly a unique combination of different attributes of existing means of payments. By doing so, then we are able to uh, assess the adoption and usage of a central bank digital currency in retail transaction. Our key finding points out that adoption friction play a pivotal role uh, in assessing the demand for CBDC. Adoption friction may not be necessarily monetary, could also be the effort, time and adjustments that consumers need to undertake in order to switch to a new means of payment. We observe that uh, consumers tend to stick uh, to existing payment habits, uh, for example, using cash and cards uh, uh, at the point of sale. Against this friction, then we identify uh, tricky drivers that can help uh, uh, boost the demand for CBDC. For instance, we find that designing CBDC uh, in a way that is aligned with consumer preferences help in increasing demand. Secondly, we find that an effective uh, information uh, uh, campaign helps consumers uh, know about the new means of payment, like a CBDC. And third, we find that leveraging network effects from emerging technology technologies helps uh, uh, consumers uh, adopt a central bank digital currency. For example, regarding the design, we find that uh, designing a CBDC that enjoys cash-like uh, uh, privacy combined with uh, uh, transaction speed as that of card transaction may help in increasing uh, CBDC adoption. What can central banks do to make sure that CBDC actually finds their way into consumers' wallet? Well, they have several options. For example, a big part comes down to the design itself. If uh, the design is made to match consumer preference, for example, combining the best of cash and digital means of payments, that's already uh, a very good start. Second, raising awareness is very important, so people need to know about CBDC as well as how can they benefit from it. And finally, they can also employ strategies like targeting specific groups of consumers, for example, those that have flexible uh, payment habits, mm, focusing on areas with higher digital literacy in order to trigger network effects. In short, our research offers a quantitative framework for policymakers to try different approaches of CBDC in order to make sure that CBDC is actually fitting well into the evolving payments landscape.